Hey, Ron. Morning, Leslie. Did you have a good night? I did. I watched a really good document. What is that? This is what I did last night. After I got home, I drank six more glasses of whiskey, and then I finished crafting this small harp using a bandsaw, a spoke shave, and an oscillating spindle sander. Beautiful. But wait, there's more. Here are some photographs of me drinking the whiskey. You'll notice I'm holding up yesterday's newspaper so you can tell that I'm not lying. Mm, I feel like I'm in a spa. Lemonade? Please and thank you. Hey, I'm sorry if I was curt earlier. I'm a single mom, and sometimes things get chaotic around here. And when you shut up from the parts department... No need to apologize. I understand completely. This is delicious. Well, I got it from food and stuff, so... That's where I got these gloves. Right? So, how exactly are you gonna fix this hole? Just for my own edification. Uh, I dug the loose gravel out of the hole. Now I'm using a jackhammer to remove the larger pieces. Then I'll spray down the hole to settle the dust mm -hmm. and fill it with cold patch asphalt. Well, thank you. Now I can fix the next one myself. Mark Brandanowitz. Hey, Ron, what's up? I have a wood shop and I'm planning a little expansion. Need my buddy Mark, the city planner, to sign off on the plans. Sure, I just need the scheduling inspection. That's not really necessary. Yes, it is, but you'll be fine as long as you don't have any code violations. And you don't have any code violations, do you? Nope. Andrew, are you aware that your bathroom faucet is leaking? Are you kidding me? I just stuffed a sock in it yesterday. What else do they want me to do? There's an exposed wire above the bathtub as well. Oh, yeah, shock wire! I call it that because if you take a shower and you touch the wire, you die! Yes, that is accurate. Do you have a toolbox? Yeah. No home is complete without a proper toolbox. Here's April and Andy's. A hammer, half of a pretzel, baseball card, some cartridge that says Sonic, and hedgehog, a scissor half, and a flashlight filled with jelly beans. Ron, what was wrong with that one? It was too perfect. It looked machine made. In the time I've worked here, I've taken great pains to see as little of this building as possible. Turns out the third floor is silent, empty, and completely free of government work. I can't think of anything more beautiful to share with my son. Well, if I had a toolbox, I could take care of that faulty radiator. This place is a paradise. Hey, Mark. Welcome to my haven. Thank you. You were the first non-me to set foot in this building in 10 years. Um. Ron, none of this is up to code. Sure it is. It's up to the Swanson code. There's no drainage, doesn't seem to be any ventilation. You've got hazardous chemicals over here. Yeah, which only I am breathing. It's the same liberty that gives me the right to fart in my own car. Are you gonna tell a man that he can't fart in his own car? There is a basket of oil-soaked rags above a wood-burning stove. Good thing I've got a fire extinguisher, which I can assure you is totally up to your precious code. Um, this says it should be recharged June of 1996. Those dates are arbitrary. They're like those expiration dates that the government forces companies to put on yogurt and medicine. Observe. Watch yourself. Yeah. Okay. I'll replace this. Happy? My fave new item is a deliciously bold chair mm. by local artist Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson is here. He will be joining us after the break, so stick around. Did that woman call my chair delicious? I guess we could go to a pharmacy, but I really don't want to use like a cheap plastic ring. I hate to say this, but Ann Perkins has terrible taste in rings. What, what is this? It's a toe ring with a brown gemstone? Is this a ruby that's gone bad? I am out of ideas. 
jewelry store. No, that's closed. That's why we're doing this. Perhaps I can be of service. How? How much do you think Anne would miss this sconce? Well, I don't know. It's part of her house. <clears throat> well, okay. It's not rocket science. I removed the sconce, <clears throat> fired up my grandfather's torch, heated up the pieces in a cast iron bucket, liquefied the metal, poured into a mold, obviously keep it over a low flame to achieve a nice temper, cooled it in antifreeze, and just forged and shaped the rings. Any moron with a crucible and a acetylene torch and a cast iron waffle maker could have done the same. The whole thing only took me about 20 minutes. People who buy things are suckers. Five, 26, 27, 28 violations. Come on, Brendanowitz, relax. Let me make you a canoe. Uh, well, I don't need a canoe, Ron. I need you to fix this place up. So, I'll give you 24 hours. Hi there. Is there a project you're working on? I know more than you. All right. When April and Andy married, I didn't get them a wedding present. In my experience, wedding presents are nothing more than kindling on the divorce bonfire. But I think I found a way I can really help them make a home. Just as we suspected, John, we repaired the valve stem seal, and now all that remains is to tighten down this packing nut and that should do it. Can we help you? No, we have everything under control. My crew's redoing this whole floor. We're the only people allowed up here right now. Well, proceed with your work. You won't notice us at all. Well, we're gonna be kind of loud. <laughs> My son is several weeks old. He's quite familiar with the sound of power tools. Oh my goodness, we are back with America's greatest leader, <laughs> Annabelle Porter, and her new favorite artisan, local woodworker, Ron Swanson. Hello. I discovered Ron's chairs a few months ago, and what I absolutely love about a Swanson mm -hmm. is you can really use it for anything. Yes, mostly you use it for sitting. Make it a rustic accent piece in your solarium. Even better, use it as a focal point in your yoga tent. Put it by a table and eat a meal. We don't do meals in my home. No, every two hours we eat what I like to call a food tease, like an oat wedge or a seaweed lozenge. Ron, what are you doing here? The most important government work I've ever done, sanding rat urine stains out of this floor. There he is. Hello, hello. <laughs> thank you for your kind words about my chairs, Miss Porter. No, thank us. You are about to make a ton of money. I want to license your designs. We are going to put Swanson chairs in every six-bedroom home in the Midwest. If my chairs were mass-produced, they wouldn't be Swanson chairs. Swanson chairs are handmade. Yes, and now they will be made by thousands of tiny Chinese hands. There, I think I got it. Yep, you got it. Ugh. Can you at least tell me what you're doing? I'm a homeowner. I would like to actually learn something. Yeah. I'm tightening the valve stem into the valve shank. I'm replacing the handle and then tightening the set screw to hold it in place. Now. Oh my god, we made it work. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Sense of accomplishment and pride. Damn it, I just love it so much. Are you okay? Great. I'm going to go around this house and fix everything I can find that needs fixing. You want to help? I really do. Good. That's next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, John, it's red pine. They were going to put flecked linoleum over this beautifully preserved, knotty red pine. Most people in this world, John, are ass. This is the best day I've ever spent in a government building, and luckily my son was here to share it with me. He now has that satisfied look that only comes with the pride of labor. Or he pooped. Either way, well done, John. Thank you.